With a rap sheet nine pages long, DJ Bradley was in deep. You know, I was on, I was on the, the, the playing ground with probably getting some major time. I had nine pages front and back from uh, dealing in drugs to using to possession. To, I mean, just this, this ungodly things you could think of. But God had a different plan, one that would bring BJ to the realization that there was a better way. As I become a Christian, I went from the front page of the newspaper to the front row of the church. After serving time at the Rockcastle County Jail, BJ was released in 2002. Now BJ serves in a totally different way by conducting worship services for the inmates there in that same jail. Well, I got involved in the jail ministry. It was something that God wanted me to do, and, and it took some time for God to really make that aware to me that He wanted me to do this. God just provided, and He provided sermons, He provided a fire, He provided a passion, He provided something that, that I couldn't. And God also provided, with help from the Eliza Broadus offering, a portable baptismal, one located right there in the county jail. The baptism started some years ago with like 20 every year, and then 40, and it's big numbers. As we seen about getting a, a baptistry, and for some time it went on that it was gonna be so much money that we couldn't provide, and the jailer was, you know, wow, it's a lot of this money, and, and so it come to find out it was such a little bit of money. The baptistry now is there's no limits. Uh, if somebody wants to be baptized, hey, let's, let's have a baptism. I'm so thankful for the Eliza Broad offering for having a part in this partner away and, and helping us provide a baptistry in some ways needed for years. So why does BJ do this? It's because he found hope and now wants to share that love in a place that is not typically a source of hope. The reason that I go to the jail is because God's got me there sharing hope, trying to meet the need from the jailhouse to the church house. If only they could find the hope that if only they could find the hope that I find. And maybe, just maybe one more might find it. And one who did find it was Jessie Weaver, now a former inmate who turned her life around because of BJ's ministry. So BJ comes in and, and done his jail ministry and um, I can, he gave me a Bible, you know, that said North, Northside Baptist Church and I started reading that Bible. It was here that I said the salvation prayer, the salvation you know, prayer to be saved. And I can remember BJ came in and they had actually had served dinner here one night and he actually got a tray too and we sat there and ate in that room over there and, I, and that touched my heart that somebody, and knowing that he had came from the same walk of life that I also came from and that I could be there, I could be different. You know, it, it really inspired me that I don't have to live the way I'm living, you know, and I seen what God had done in his life and I again had hope that he could do the same for me.